Hey friends, we are Sandra and Timo aka Munazi and we've been traveling through Europe in our self-converted van Parker for the past two years. Even though we love being in nature, every once in a while we need the bus. We are city kids after all. And we also coffee next. And though we can prepare delicious coffee on the road. By the way, Sandra worked as a barista for many years in Madrid and Melbourne. Lucky me. We still love visiting the best coffee places in each city we go to. And why keep this to ourselves when we can share it with you too? Today we are exploring Berlin's coffee scene. So let's find the best cafes in town. Our first stop for today is at Isla Coffee. This was actually one of the first zero waste coffee places in Berlin. They try to work sustainably by working with local produce and producing their waste must stop when you come to Berlin. This is in the neighborhood of Neukölln, so you get a bit of an edgy vibe, but it's a really cool location and they have amazing coffee and pastries. Our next stop, also in Neukölln, is the coffee shop Companion, which started out as a little coffee corner in a hip clothing store, and then they decided to open up their own coffee. They also have specialty tea. Something we really like about this place is the vintage interior, which looks really cool and is a bit different. If you are into tea, definitely check them out. Our next stop is at Populous Coffee. This lovely place is right in front of the water in the Maiwahufa here in Berlin. It's really cozy to walk up the street and end up here in this lovely coffee corner. This Finnish couple actually built all the interior by themselves and they started roasting their own coffee. So it's definitely a must stop if you come to this area. We are in Kreuzberg, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we made it to probably Berlin's most famous coffee roasters and also cafe, Bonanza. We are in Kreuzberg here and this is the roastery of Bonanza, which is absolutely beautiful with all the brick walls in this inner patio and all the plants. It's a gorgeous place and actually it was the first specialty coffee place I've ever been. So let's go in, check it out, have some delicious coffee. It's a must stop if you are here. Day two of our coffee guide. This morning we start in Kreuzberg. Actually, are we in Kreuzberg? I think this is Prenzlauerberg. Prenzlauerberg. Or Mitte. <laughs> or Mitte. It's probably Prenzlauerberg. We are here at District Coffee, where you can get delicious specialty coffee, but also a very nice brunch. It's very popular in the area. And be ready to wait the weekend because it gets very packed. So better be here early, but it's worth it. They do delicious avo toast and different things. So if you're in the area, check them out. Starting off with beans from Fjord. Shout out to Jordan. If you're watching, good job mate. They also have a second location. So if you're not in this area, I think the other area is Neukölln, where you can go to Annelies. Kreuzberg actually. Kreuzberg. <laughs> Today we have it with the district. <laughs>
stop is at Oslo Cafe Bar. This is actually one of our favorite places. We come here quite often. They have an amazing yeah, selection of perfect. vegan pastries and coffee beans from all over the world. So it's always a good one to check out. The best part is that they have an amazing table on the back for laptops so you can come do some work. And little fact, they also sell some vinyls and I'm pretty sure there is one vinyl from the owner of the place, which is pretty cool. So definitely check it out if you come to Mitte, I think. Yeah, it does Mitte. <laughs> anyway, let's grab a coffee and a cookie. The vegan cookies, by the way, 10 out of 10. Now we made it for sure to Mitte, I can see the TV tower from here. We are at Coffee Circle and they have three locations here in Berlin. The roastery is actually in Wedding. They have a direct connection with the farmers. It's fair trade, so everything runs in a circle pretty much, as it should be. And let's go in and have a coffee. Stunning location, amazing with this little water thingy, outdoor tables. And the fact that you go into this inner patio and you are directly in the city but it's so calm, it's very nice. I imagine a hot summer day and you just sit outside with your avo toast or whatever. And it's, cool. it's quite common here in Berlin to have these little hopper thingies, no? Yeah, this little inner patios. So let's check the cafe out. our next location at Father Carpenter. This is a little hidden paradise in the middle of the neighborhood of Mitte, which is always pretty busy and pretty hectic. But here, tucked away in this little patio, we have this beautiful cafe. I love the interior. It has a very different vibe from every other place we've been here in Berlin. And the coffee is really amazing. Fjord, we also already did our shout out to our mate Jordan. And the guys are super nice as well, a lot of Aussies, which is always a plus, good coffee, you know what's happening. And the food is also amazing, avocado toast, on point, and we always love to come here when we're in this area, so definitely a must check out. We made it to Five Elephant, one of the OG coffee shops in Berlin. They have several locations, but this one here in Mitte is just gorgeous. I'm in love with the terrazzo they have in the bar and in the benches, it's just beautiful. The roastery is also here in Berlin. They have amazing coffee and the pastries look so beautiful, so definitely stop if you come to this side of the city.